How to avoid paying taxes on alimony when going through a divorce in New York. One of the most pressing concerns for many is the tax implications of alimony, also referred to as spousal maintenance. How alimony is treated for tax purposes can significantly affect both the payer and the recipient's financial well-being. Understanding these implications is crucial, especially with the changes introduced by federal tax laws. Tax laws and legal considerations alimony payments are a critical aspect of many divorce settlements, and they are governed by both federal and New York state laws. Before 2019, federal tax laws allowed the paying spouse to deduct alimony payments from their taxable income, and the recipient had to report the payments as taxable income. This tax structure often worked in favor of both parties, especially when there was a significant income disparity. However, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, TCJA, of 2017, which came into effect on January 1, 2019, dramatically changed this arrangement. Now, for divorces finalized after 2018, the paying spouse can no longer deduct alimony payments, and the recipient no longer needs to report the payments as income. This reversal has altered how divorce settlements are structured, as the loss of the deduction may lead to higher overall tax liabilities for the paying spouse. New York State, however, takes a different approach. Under New York Tax Law Section 612, W. Alimony remains deductible for the payer and taxable for the recipient, similar to the federal rules before the 2019 changes. This discrepancy between federal and state tax laws can complicate financial planning, making it essential for individuals involved in alimony disputes to work with an experienced attorney who understands the nuances of both state and federal tax codes. How to minimize tax liabilities on alimony Although federal tax laws have changed, there are still strategies you can use to minimize the tax burden associated with alimony payments. Here are several approaches that may help you reduce your tax liability. Structuring payments over time. Dividing alimony into smaller payments over a longer period can ease financial strain on the paying spouse. Spreading out payments may also help reduce the immediate tax impact on the recipient, as it avoids any potential lump sum tax consequences. Opting for lump sum payments. Some paying spouses prefer to settle their alimony obligations through a lump sum payment. In New York, receiving a lump sum does not count as taxable income for the recipient, which could be a significant advantage. For the paying spouse, this approach eliminates the need for future payments, though it requires immediate access to the necessary funds. Legal instruments for tax efficiency. Trusts can be an effective tool for managing alimony payments and minimizing tax exposure. Prenuptial and postnuptial agreements can also outline how alimony payments will be structured, providing both parties with clarity and reducing the potential for unexpected tax liabilities. Understanding alimony and its processes in New York, alimony is categorized into two types, temporary maintenance and post-divorce maintenance. Temporary maintenance. This is awarded during the divorce proceedings and aims to maintain a similar standard of living to what both spouses experienced during the marriage. This financial support is calculated based on a specific formula under New York law, but the court may also consider factors such as the length of the marriage, each spouse's health, and any unique needs they may have. Post-divorce maintenance. This is awarded after the divorce is finalized. It's intended to help the lower-earning spouse transition to independent living and can be awarded for a fixed period or until a particular condition is met, such as the recipient's remarriage. Post-divorce maintenance is not calculated using the same formula as temporary maintenance and depends on various factors, including the length of the marriage, the standard of living during the marriage, and the financial independence of both spouses. New York courts also have the discretion to deviate from these standard calculations if they believe the formula would result in an unfair obligation. This flexibility allows for individualized decisions based on the financial realities of each case, including the unique tax implications that stem from federal and state law differences. Strategies to avoid tax burdens on alimony Negotiating an alimony agreement that takes tax implications into account is key to minimizing financial strain for both parties. Here are some tactics to consider. 
Lump sum payments. As discussed, a lump sum payment can help the payer avoid future obligations and prevent the recipient from having to deal with ongoing financial dependencies. From a tax perspective, this option can be particularly advantageous since alimony is no longer considered taxable income. Prenuptial and postnuptial agreements. These agreements can be crafted to include provisions that protect both parties from unnecessary tax burdens. Clear terms on alimony payments help reduce uncertainty and provide tax advantages based on New York's unique laws. Consider the timing of your divorce. Your tax filing status can affect how much alimony you pay or receive. The decision to file jointly or separately as a divorcing couple should be made with care, especially when considering its effect on your overall tax liability. The bottom line is that navigating the tax implications of alimony requires careful planning. Consulting with both a lawyer and a tax advisor is essential to ensure that your financial future is protected during and after the divorce process. To gain more clarity on how alimony and taxes will affect your case, contact the law office of Richard Roman Shum, ESC, PLLC at 646-259-3416, and visit our office at 20 Clinton Street, Apt 5D, New York, New York, 10002.